Now let's get another check of the forecast with 4029 meteorologist Robert Sir. Finally some relief today, but will that last for very long, Robert? Uh, it should last a good part of the upcoming week, which is good. which is really some good news after the weather that we had. The heat and the humidity is going to be pushed back to the southwest, so we've got a nice week of weather on the way, and that's where we're going to start uh, with what we can, you know, look forward to this week. We'll have seasonal temperatures. Finally, in, in, instead of that record shattering heat that we all experienced over the past week, things will be back to where they should be for the last week of August. I mean, September starts in just a few days. The, that September, September 1st is actually the first day of meteorological fall. If you follow that, we will see a continuous northeast flow of winds that is going to keep our temperatures and our humidity in check, but it won't last forever. That heat might try to return by the time we get to next weekend. And you can see out in the distance, six to so this week is one to five days, obviously. So six to 10 days, we get into next weekend and the following week, strong confidence in above average heat to return, unfortunately. And that does include all of our area. The darker the color, the stronger the confidence in that uh, above average temperatures. Now you have to remember, it's all relative. Above average temperatures uh, this time of the year could just be in the upper 80s and lower 90s, depending on your location. It doesn't mean that it's going to be triple digit heat again. You can see 8 to 14 days out, same thing. Very strong confidence in above average temperatures. Now we're out towards September 10th here. so. Uh, September could start out on the warm side, unfortunately. It's pretty nice in Eureka Springs right now. Some puffy cumulus clouds, low humidity, very nice in Poto as well. Uh, the whole area is quite comfortable. Temperatures in the 80s across northwest Arkansas, lower to mid 80s, and then basically lower 90s, hanging around 90, 91 degrees here in the River Valley. We talked about those dew points. Yesterday, the, the line for the driest dew points was up here. Well, today it's into central Missouri and Kansas. By tomorrow, it'll be a little further south, and we'll really have that comfortable. It feels good now, but it's going to get better. I promise you, folks. You can see that front stalled out well to the south. A couple of leftover showers around the Arklatex area. Everybody else pretty much cloud-free all the way up to the international border uh, at this hour. Uh, should be nice and quiet the rest of the night. You can see those northerly and northeasterly winds continuing to push in that cooler and drier air into the area. Monday looks great besides some high clouds. We don't have to worry about any precipitation. And then Tuesday morning, also very nice. A couple locations could dip into the upper 50s. Uh, like tonight, you see here, flirting with 60 degrees in northwest Arkansas, a little bit warmer in the River Valley. And we'll rebound tomorrow just about everybody in the 80s to right around 90, but it really won't feel that bad because of how low the humidity will be. And you can see, yeah, pretty self-explanatory seven-day forecast. Oodles of sunshine over the next uh, seven days with temperatures right around where they should be. We start to warm up into next weekend, but I think the next warm up for Northwest Arkansas, as well as the River Valley, Emma, will be uh, much less severe than what we experienced this past week. We're getting into the time of the year where it's gonna get harder and harder for triple digit heat to make its way into the area. So yeah, we'll be above average, but probably only by a handful of degrees. All right, can't wait for those days of oodles of sunshine.